everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Fantastic Four issue 15. And this was a pretty interesting issue. I first didn't know what was going on, but I liked how the setup began, like you were almost reading another comic book before the Fantastic Four portion of the story really kicked into gear. So I kind of enjoyed that, and I can't wait to see what they kind of do with this going forward. So we start off and we see that it's almost started off following this super group called the Unparalleled. And their home world is called Spire. We see this dude, the Overseer, pretty much trying to do this ceremony to find these people's soulmates. So evidently mating rituals on this planet are pretty much this Overseer dude does it for him. And he is creepy looking. He's got like these glowing eyes that like... One's in his forehead and like two at his sides or whatnot, and he's got like empty eye sockets. But we get a little bit more information that there are uh, two sons that are in this system, and they are uh, called Kor and Kalo. And funnily enough, two of the prominent unparalleled are named that as well, as they are stopping a runaway train. We then switch over to seeing uh, the teammates of Citadel, Sky, and Sidearm dealing with a detonator kind of explosion at a soul binding ceremony where they're able to save some people and be like, okay, this is kind of weird that all this stuff's happening all at once. And then we see this Elementa dude who's like a water witch and Astro Belter stopping these kind of monsters kind of people from tagging this one place. And then they kind of run off because evidently they're kind of a criminal element on this planet. And before they're to get back to the Hall of Heroes, they need to blast off the graffiti that they were doing. So they get back to the Hall of Heroes, and they're like, this is kind of weird that all this is happening all at once, but then this other alarm pops up, and they're like, this is what we've been waiting our whole lives for, and it's the foretold from this prophecy. It's like, okay, this has to deal with the Fantastic Four, probably, and we see their rocket ship coming in as they go to intercept them. We see... A panel is pulled back and they're kind of exposed there and we can't understand what they're saying and neither can the Spirians. So we're like, okay, this is not going to go well as Johnny pretty much goes out to fight them and the Sky chick, who's pretty much kind of like an analog to like Angel from the X-Men, is like, leave Johnny to me. Well, well, leave the flying flamey one to me even though the Water Witch dude's like, hey, that dude's fire i'm a water person i think i should handle this but it's not a an arrogance kind of thing that she's doing there's something kind of a deeper at play that i think we'll probably learn about so she's able to pretty much take him down we got ben fighting citadel at first but then he pretty much well not drop kicks him but kicks him so hard over this wall that he like falls down into this giant hole it's like that ain't good which leaves Sue and Reed. Uh, Elementa is able to incapacitate Sue enough, as well as the other unparalleled, to stop Reed. But Reed is able to kind of like conjure their communicators to figure out Spirian, so they're able to communicate pretty much going with the cheesy sci fi line of take me to your leader kind of stuff. And they're able to be taken there, and uh, the Overseer's like, oh, I vastly overestimated you guys coming here so eh, we'll we'll kind of just say we're sorry that you're so handily defeated and then they get the soul rings clamped on I was like what is this manacles are we prisoners and they're like no it's a privilege and evidently they are going to they're like hey it'll be cool to tell about when we go home it's like no uh spire is your home now so screw you and we then switch over. We see that Ben is pretty much in like an Undercity kind of corset style. And he is able to understand the people around him. So that's really good on Reed to be able to do that so that everybody can understand what people are saying. But the monster people are like, hey, it's one of the foretold. Kill that thing. And Ben's like, oh, yeah, baby, I got this. We end off the issue as we see that Johnny is waking up without his clothes on in a bed. And we see that... It is in the Sky Woman's apartment, and he's like, okay, uh, questions of, like, why well, I don't have my clothes on, what's going on, usual kind of basic stuff. He's like, 
uh, what's this ring thing? It's like, oh, uh, that's a soul binding. That means we're soulmates. And we're like, ah, shit, Johnny got married again. We'll have to see how this goes on because it kind of alluded that she kind of knew who Johnny Storm was and probably knew that he was going to be her soulmate. So we'll have to see how that kind of shakes out and if this kind of survives this arc. Since we've seen a lot of stuff of Johnny being kind of tired of this kind of cycle, so we'll have to see if this kind of ends it for the foreseeable future or whatnot. But I'm like, okay, this is a pretty big wrinkle. Let's see how this plays out. And that's going to potentially probably be their way in to kind of turning the unparalleled on the overseer because this seems like a gilded cage scenario where one person's at the top pretty much keeping everybody stuck on Spire and pretty much liking his own kind of control here and that Earth and any of the other kind of galactic civilizations would probably threaten that. So they're probably going to have to work on the unparalleled to get onto their side to take out the overseer and, well, get back home and also free the planet, maybe get some interesting allies for any other fights that would happen in the future. So I like this issue. At first, I'm like, am I reading the right thing? But I really like that I'm like, all right, that's a pretty good way to set it up and then tie it into what's been going on with the Fantastic Four and their original mission. And I'm like, yeah, can't wait to see where this goes next. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.